A Las Vegas teen will spend at least another 15 years in prison. Jonathan Martinez Garcia was accused of attacking an El Dorado High School teacher in April of last year. In an emotional statement, the victim in the crime spoke in court about how the attack has impacted her. Say Nevada versus Jonathan Martinez Garcia. In court Wednesday morning, the former El Dorado High School student Jonathan Martinez Garcia, who was accused of attacking a teacher in a locked classroom last April, learned his fate. Police say he attacked his teacher, first choking her with a power cord. When she was unconscious, the 16-year-old admitted to removing articles of her clothing. First, the district attorney suggested a maximum sentence of 22 to 55 years. This man placed his hands around a person's neck. That is one of the most intimate forms of violence. Garcia's attorney argued probation before Garcia spoke to court in front of his victim and her family. If I will own up to it and pay the consequences of my actions, I am so sorry to say for everything I put you through. I'm sorry. Family members of the victim spoke about how the attack has impacted their loved one. When I arrived at the hospital the next evening, she was battered and bruised. That was the night that I met my new daughter. My old daughter left life. We'll permanently be dealing with this trauma for the rest of her life. We need to believe that his punishment should last his entire lifetime. Before Garcia learned his sentence, he first heard from the victim in an emotional victim statement. Channel 13 does not reveal the identity of assault victims and are not showing her face. I'm forever haunted by this ex experience. I know my life will never be the same and it is all because of him. I am trapped, or as the word I've chosen to better describe it, in prison within, in prison within myself because of the whole thing. And it only makes sense that he too should be in prison for as long as possible. Garcia was sentenced to serve 16 to 40 years in prison. He will receive credit for the 447 days he spent in jail so far. Not an easy decision, but an important one to make, and I hope in some ways gives closure. Well, since the attack, CCSD has started to implement security changes such as panic buttons for teachers in some classrooms.